Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Retro Pop Planet. And recently I came across a video by Guy Hutchinson on his Pointless Nostalgia channel. It was all about Hanna-Barbera theme parks or weird Hanna-Barbera theme parks that uh, either are still around or are no longer around. One of these in particular was Hanna-Barbera Land, which was in Spring, Texas, and it was only open for two seasons, 1984 and 1985. I think this video he was doing for a convention or something, but I had to share my two cents because I did go to Hanna-Barbera Land with my family. I believe it was 1984 and I was like six or seven years old. So I don't have a lot of recollections of it, but let's go into that video right now and then I'll do a little show and tell after to show you that yes I was indeed there. It's a special place. It's a place for fun. Introducing Hanna Barbera Land. A place for meeting, laughing, eating. A place for fun. Hanna Barbera Land, where you can have a ball, share a show, even see your name in lights. A place for swimming, climbing, sharing. Pick up your coupon at Safeway today for a dollar fifty off and a free Coke at Hanna Barbera Land. Okay, first I'm gonna do a little retrospective and I'll show you just a small memento that I have from my time there. It was a very short-lived park and most people probably don't even remember it. You'd be hard pressed now to find much information online about this park outside of Wikipedia and a collection of home movies on YouTube. In 1966, the Taft Broadcasting Company, based in Cincinnati, purchased the Hanna-Barbera Cartoon Studios from its founders, Joseph Barbera and William Hanna. And in 1972, they opened their first theme park, Kings Island, outside of Cincinnati. They owned five other theme parks at the time, which were operated by their entertainment division. In 1975, they opened a second Kings theme park outside of Richmond, Virginia. Over the next few years, they would aggressively buy out several major radio broadcasting networks and TV stations. Subsections of these larger theme parks featured characters from the Hanna-Barbera universe. The standalone park in Spring, north of Houston, was opened in the 1984 season. As a connoisseur of Saturday morning cartoons, I'm positive I would have been subjected to a blitz of advertising during my block of shows, especially the 90-minute weekly presentation of the Smurfs. The whole gang went to the park that summer. Dad, mom, my baby brother, and even my grandma. The park featured a giant rainbow archway upon arrival where you were greeted by a host of furry walk-around characters. The main attraction was arguably the Scooby-Doo roller coaster, which I was too little to ride then, but did ride several years later at King's Dominion after we moved to Virginia. A character carousel, which I definitely remember because I sat on Yogi Bear right into some kid's half-dried chocolate ice cream. The Silly Sticks, which was a huge jungle gym that looked like Tinker Toys. I love jungle gyms, so my parents probably had to drag me out of this one. And the only other thing I vaguely remember from that one day were the pedal boats. Oh, the other thing I can reflect on is how new everything was. Like the trees weren't fully formed yet. It was Texas hot, and so there wasn't all that much shade. And the power kept going out, which shut down the rides. But it was no Astro World, which is where I always wanted to go. And it was close enough to that mega park, which is probably one of the reasons it died. That and I read that concession sales weren't all that great for those two seasons. And that's how theme parks make their money. You can still visit the area where Hanna-Barbera Land once stood, because it's now a Six Flags Splash Town. Several of the Kings Parks are also still in operation. For a time in the 1990s, they were owned by Paramount. All of the rides in the Hanna-Barbera section at King's Dominion were rethemed and the characters were scrubbed from the advertising. You can still ride the Scooby-Doo coaster. It's now called the Woodstock Express and was the first ride built at that park. Okay, as promised, I do have one for my time there, and that is this Peo Smurfette. You can see um, she's in really good condition. Um, I believe this was an item that we received when we first entered the park, and it actually has my brother's initial on it. I'm not sure if this was mine or if this was his. I also have this Papa Smurf puppet, and I do believe this also came from the park. It has a pretty old label on it, and I don't know when I also would have gotten this other than maybe a Christmas stocking. So either this is the, from the park or it's not, but it would have been from the same era. 
Okay, yeah, so that was it. It was a very short-lived theme park. Then it turned into a water park as part of the Six Flags family, which I believe it still is. If you have any memories from Hanna-Barbera land or any of these weird Hanna-Barbera properties in general, please leave me a comment. If you have any photos, that would be awesome too. I did look through some old photo albums and I couldn't find anything. My dad says we took like one or two photos, but they're probably lost to time at this point. And uh, there's really nothing to share from that. But I did want to show you that I did have something left from our time there so it's not complete memory loss uh, anyway thanks for watching guys if you like this video please hit that like button please subscribe if you want to see more random uh, reminisce memories like this and I'll catch you guys on the next one